Hi friends, Miss Valerie here. Today I am going to show you how to make okonomiyaki, something that can be interpreted as Japanese cabbage pancake. It's a savory dish that has multiple regional variations throughout Japan. Here I borrowed a recipe from Binging with Babish and mashed it up with Just One Cookbook's recipe. First, you want to begin by thinly slicing half a head of cabbage. Here we have organic cabbage grown right from Upland High School's garden. So amazing! This dish mainly consists of cabbage, which is a cruciferous vegetable. It is in the same family as broccoli and cauliflower. These vegetables are carcinogenic biting greens, which means the more you eat them, the more you lower your risk of developing cancer. Let's make the batter next. First, you will need one cup of all-purpose flour. Into that, you will add 1 4 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon of salt, and 1 4 teaspoon of sugar. The next step is where it gets interesting. This is a Japanese mountain yam, otherwise known as nagaimo. You can find them at your local Asian specialty grocery store. What we're going to do is peel off the skin and grate the yam into the bowl. You can see how the texture immediately changes once you grate it. It becomes gooey and sticky, almost like slime. For lots of people, that can seem unappetizing or strange, but I promise it's delicious and you don't even notice the texture. We'll need to make dashi broth next, which is made from anchovies, kelp, and bonito, a type of dried fish. Here, I'm cheating with instant stock. I simply add one teaspoon of hondashi to three fourth cups of hot water. Then I pour the broth into the flour mix and whisk to combine. You want to whisk it until it's fully incorporated and then cover with saran wrap. Let's put it in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. Next, we're going to work on the sauce. It's a combination of one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of barbecue sauce, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire, 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 you know it's hard to pronounce, so. After 30 minutes, we will remove the batter from the fridge and mix in four eggs into the batter and mix in the sliced cabbage. I know it seems like a lot, but the magic about greens is that they all wilt so quickly once you cook them. Now preheat a nonstick pan over medium high heat and glug in a good amount of oil. I use roughly one tablespoon and a half of canola oil. Once it's heated, drop in half of the batter. Let it pan fry for two minutes before covering the pot with the lid. From there, let's cook it for three more minutes before flipping and repeating. Two minutes uncovered, three minutes covered. Usually after I flip it, I turn my heat to medium because the pan has gotten quite hot. Once the bottom is nice and crispy, plate it up. Grab the sauce we made earlier and coat the top layer. Then zigzag Japanese mayonnaise on top, which is regular mayo with a dash of vinegar and dashi broth, before taking a pointy chopstick, toothpick, or skewer to draw pretty lines in, like so. Now you're ready to serve. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.